right, Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning. Super Typhoon Maywar. I figure I'd document this or our journey towards it. Uh, things are a little, little bit, just very little blowing over. The wind is strong. I'm gonna go around, uh, check out my surroundings. I hope you guys are good. They said this might go down as actually the first or the second to the strongest typhoon hit Guam since Typhoon Karen. It's gonna be a category four, same thing as Typhoon Paka. We haven't had a crazy typhoon in, in 21 years. Bracing for what could be one of the worst storms to hit the island nation in decades. But Typhoon it's just incredible Mara how powerful the storm is right now. So uh, this is kind of crazy for me. We kind of took down things, the tarps and stuff, and kind of secured our home and stuff that we can fly away uh, to the best we can. Uh, this is just like a video log, log of how it is and our experience towards it. We got water and all that stuff. I'll show you how it is. Hope you guys are good. You guys, uh, see this through. I got our tarp down. Not sure if this uh, poles will fuck up everything or like you know get outrooted and stuff. Got to duct tape my trash can as well as got to duct tape the zorries. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Things that are like random. Uh, our neighbor's tree over there, the Tonga Tonga, fell off. Fell down already. Yeah. This is our backyard. Uh, this is the back. All right, let's go for a quick walk. See how those things look over there? That tree over there looks like it fell over. Uh, yeah. It's kind of cool that they kind of like they're trying to make construction and make this road so not that much trees will fall into my stuff. But uh, yeah, well, this is how it looks at the moment outside. There's a construction thing going off. And yeah, we'll come back to see the aftermath in a bit. <clears throat> this tree right here, I'm not so sure of it. It might break over because it's a pretty big tree in the pool. It might break over or fall over. We've been having power glitches. Uh, yeah. This is. Uh, Maybe day one. Maybe day one of it actually being here. Because I said it, it's going to touch Guam around 4 a.m. 4 a.m. But well, we've been preparing for the past two days. You know, getting water. Things closed yesterday when we had four one. We'll see how it is. Ah, uh, yeah. Hopefully we uh, got everything tied down right. So it doesn't fly as crazy. Uh, I'm not sure about all those debris over there in this uh, part of the abandoned but uh, we have all the thing here as well as uh, shit's blown over yeah you kind of see it I'm not sure about that tree uh, I'm thinking that's like a 30 or 40 foot pole so that tree is like probably like 50 foot tall I'm not sure with the height but uh, it's it might blow over into my neighbor's house you can see that the grass is going that way. It's blown over that way. Also, FEMA, they've been informed of the people of Guam to like take pictures of their car and film it as well because they're not sure, uh, you know, if it's going to be catastrophic because it's a Cat 5 typhoon. Uh, other than that, this is how the house looks. This is a super typhoon uh, Mawar. Uh, pray for us. I'm just worried about that big one right there. It's been tilting over towards my my neighbor's house. And I can see uh, we have the shutters, so we're okay. Saving some water over here. Some backup water that we have. Got milk. Bottom tarp of the screen, so when the water kind of hits, it kind of goes out. Not sure about the top, but you know, we'll see. We got the radio for updates. We got some food and everything. We got candles, got my big ass light as well as other chargeable stuff and also uh, battery uh, packs that can charge the phones. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is for the volume that's for the finding the station. Mm. <laughs> Send it to them. Alright. Visual update. As of one, the eye should hit us by four. Uh, looks like the wind keeps going that way. Taking hits, man. It's been cracking. Uh, it's really windy. Uh, the wind is just like it's sprinkling, or the rain is just like a sprinkling. It's more of like a crazier wind. Look at that. The winds are picking up. Uh, this tree over here got uprooted. It's now blocking the road. I don't think uh, you can cross the road anymore over there. I would have to remove that tree. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's on the road. Uh, see over there. Thirty. Right, we don't have power. No power right now. We be using candles. Documenting it. The wind changed direction. It's in my backyard right now. And the wall gave out. There you go. The tarp didn't help. Uh, we went going in the water. I uh, can see it. God damn, even the radio stations are not working. The center of Typhoon Mauer uh, was moving west-northwest at 7 miles per hour, expected to maintain the general course with a slight increase in forward speed. Go to maximum sustained winds again at 140 miles per hour. Mauer forecast to maintain this intensity through Thursday. Typhoon course winds extend outward from the center up to 50 miles and tropical storm extend outward from the center up to 140 miles. That's the latest update from the weather service again. Typhoon Mauer now expected to pass uh, the center of Typhoon Mauer just to the north of Guam in the Red Channel this evening. The following program may be intense for our younger listeners. Sounds like a movie 
Like but just the sound, audio book or something. Although the radio stations are like, I can't reach, they're out of whatever. It's cool to see this one. You kind of hear like a dialogue, talking dialogue. What were you saying? Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Do not go out in the calm of the hurricane eye. Visible satellite data indicated the eye wall of Typhoon Moir just north of Anderson Air Force Base. Take cover now. Move immediately to an interior room in your shelter. Take action now to protect your life. The safest place to be during this situation is in a reinforced interior room away from windows. Remain in place through the passage of these life-threatening conditions. Once again, take cover now. Move immediately to an interior room in your shelter. The safest place to be during this situation is in a reinforced interior room away from windows. Remain in place through the passage of these life-threatening conditions. Ah, uh, fucking shit's coming through the aircon. The hole of the aircon. And all these pressure cracks is actually leaking some fucking water. Non stop fucking fuck this fucking stupid typhoon. Just fucking leaked. And the window is fucking leaking. So uh, I'm having a big problem with this fucking leak. I gotta keep bringing it out. Ah, uh, fucking. Yeah. Uh, ah, I'm just trying to eat some damn noodle bowl. Yeah. Now we just uh, wait for it to cook and that's our dinner. Don't go there. Bread. It's like nine o'clock. All I did was eat and now, you know, wring out all this fucking wet shit. The super typhoon may, may work and fuck off. Still going in. I never documented a typhoon experience. But day one over, nine o'clock after this, I'm just gonna go sleep. Wake up tomorrow morning. Nice toy, Mikael. Nice toy, Mikael. I don't know, man. Never seen my fucking wall bleed water. Uh, fucking even that window over there. It's fucking leaking. You know, earlier there was no rain. It was just wind. Now it's raining and shit's leaking everywhere. Fuck. This is nothing. It's pretty something small. But I hope you guys are as well. And yeah. Uh, I don't like this super typhoon bullshit. And I hope that, you know... Um, I don't know. In the future, maybe I'm more prepared. I'll I'll cover up the windows even better, and you know, a lot of shit's crazy. Uh, I'll show you how it is tomorrow, but I'm at all right. Six fifty-one. We're gonna see the aftermath of this stupid typhoon. All right. This is the aftermath. Back there, it's really flooded. Mm -hmm. Car is looking okay. That one held down. Those didn't stand a chance. This car ripped it Last table. 
or so. such a crazy swimming pool like that's not supposed to look like that it's actually super deep got flooded got a lot of crates here I don't know where it came from there's that tree blew over to just the branches that's really nice car is looking okay storm is over. Uh, I'm very uh, blessed that it didn't do the worst damage. It's some shit. That you do the Nothing crazy. Cars are all good too. Uh, yeah. This one got us pretty good, man. It's devastating. So, I'm not sure. This big tree fell over into my neighbor's yard. Ah, uh, fuck. Back part of my house got really like hit, I would say, in the later part of the night and uh, it got really wet. Got little glass shards all over. Uh, other than that, I think we were spared pretty good. Just gotta put a lot of elbow work, elbow grease into this one. Uh, our power line right here is down, it's on the road. God damn. It looks like uh to mass the breeze on the road. God damn it. This part got fucked up by the tree. A lot of this uh this light pole fell over. Uh, I got a lot of debris again. This one said blew over. I'm noticing a lot of snap power lines. That light over there is gone as well. This nice bamboo tree over here blew over. Oh. Stop sign fell over. Alright. This is the drive of uh, the morning after. We're still in core three, I believe. People are out. Emergency people. Uh, damn, those trees blew over. So our local grocery mom and pop is open. Thank God for them. Shout outs to Village Pantry. Uh, kind of need some candles. They're kind of out of candles. There's no power in the fridge. You can see the only candles left is these kind. Not the pack ones. Uh, my son needs powder. So we went to get powder. Oh, they're out of Arizona. No, Arizona. Damn. Damn. They're out of Cocoa Pebbles. Yeah, let's just get Coca Crunch. Oh, it's high. Uh, cans are pretty low. And all the noodles. Yeah. Else blew over. Damn. It's 
not raining anymore, just the uh, wind. It just is good. Yeah. That broke. Craziness. Lower down. There's only no more trees. It's crazy. Look at that. Shit. Car swimming pool. <laughs> My yard is flooded. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Mikael. I don't think that's how you play Uno, Mikael. Hey. <laughs> What's up guys? Uh, day three. Uh, just kind of cleaning up around the house and also uh, repairing this wall that fell over. Uh, there's still no power and still no Wi-Fi. Some people go down the hill or down wherever I'm from uh, to get Wi-Fi. The gas station lines are all long. Uh, a lot of the gas station are closed. The very specific gas stations are open. Uh, but yeah, check this. Been working on this since uh, 9 a.m. and we're just cleaning out all the random stuff. Uh, yeah, just housework. I, I had a crazy day. We're gonna go to Tumon, try to find like a hotel or something to charge some some of the stuff, and then yeah, uh, try to get some cold drinks maybe if the store has. Let's go. Look at that. Some people have power, some people don't. No traffic light is working. Uh, KFC is open. Yeah, but it's uh, there is a line, crazy line, super blurry. There's no traffic lights. Walang nagta traffic. There are no traffic lights. Line is down. The whole uh, skate park area, Sam Arbor's no power. But this, this gas station is like busy. ALS is open. They look busy also. It's crazy. That it'll pay less. Looks like the League One has no power. It's crazy. Damn, that's a cool ride. Has light. Third day, GRMC. They have lights. Probably have a generator. The road is only lit up by cars. There's no uh, traffic lights. There seems to be a long line. This might be the gas station line, the shell. Uh, we're about near the mall. The mall looks like they have generator lights on. But this line right here might be the line for shell. It just goes, man. People are trying to gas up. Uh, I'll show you how that looks in a bit. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. Yep, it's just going. I have a feeling this is shell gas station. Uh, I had Jollibee earlier. Jollibee's open for a certain time, but this line might be really the line for Shell. We're almost there. We're kind of passing over the Two Lovers entrance. Uh, Dada Wendy's has a generator. And uh, yes, this is the line for Shell. Holy shit. That is crazy. All for gas. Uh, you'll probably run out of gas before you put gas. That's too crazy. Damn, that's so crazy. All right, there's a lot of debris on the road. We're turning into Tumon now, but the debris and the trees are holy shit. Gotta be careful. Sorry, thank you. There's a down line turning into Tumon and all of these trees. Right now, a lot of debris on the road. 
hotels are looking okay because they Holy have backup shit, generators. <laughs> Looking good, Tumon. Looking good. Look at that tree. A lot of debris on the road from the hill going down. This guy is in a hurry. Uh, there is no street lights. So, yeah. I'm not sure what is open, but we'll go on an adventure. Alright. Looks like some downed lines. Some tourists probably looking for food. Street lights actually have really bright lights, but there's also trees everywhere. It's kind of crazy. Uh, this tree blew over. Uh, there are some tourists out and about, probably looking for a bite to eat. I uh, see some people. And I bring you Pleasure Island, two more. has a lot of broken damages and debris on the road. The palm tree, this big palm tree, it fell over. Wild. Oh shit, there's some signs here. I'm not sure where that's from. Probably from Gucci. Check it out. And more debris. DFS trees over there got knocked over. And yeah, just tourists out here hanging about. Wild. Plaza has a roof that caved in, I guess. Crazy. And everyone else is here lounging around. Uh, yeah, trying to charge your stuff and or get some aircon. But there's no aircon here. It's really hot. Looks like everyone just hanging out here in the lobby charging their phones. There's no aircon here. We're at the Outrigger Dusitani right now. Everyone just near an outlet and chilling. Everything's closed. I'm sunburnt from all the yard work that I was doing, hollow blocks and shit. Uh, damn, no, no ATM. Out here probably has a better breeze. It's fucking hot, man. Uh, this is how Tumon looks on the third day. Uh, yeah, signs on the road and stuff that you guys saw earlier. It's still dead. We'll go check ABC store. Yeah. Tourists just chilling on each bench, trying to get some fresh air because inside is not cool. It's really hot. I like it. Third day of this uh, typhoon, super typhoon Mawar hit, hitting Guam. Uh, I mean, not hitting Guam, but has hit. So this is the third day after uh, Tumon. It's kind of lit, but. There's no air con, no ATMs working, and everyone's just out of a little plug and stuff. Uh, we'll go check out ABC. So we're in ABC store. This is probably like the only convenience store that I have went to besides Village Pantry. Uh, let's check out how it looks. Talking up on the uh, essentials, got a lot of beer. People going all crazy over there for the noodles. And yeah, there's some tons of water here. Still people were getting foods and more. Got a shirtless dude over there. <laughs> People stocking up on noodles and ready to eat. Uh, I feel a little bummed out for the tourists because you know they're here on vacation and they got hit with the super typhoon and they got to deal with all of this. Yeah, pretty bummer. Fuck man, I haven't had a cold ass drink in fucking three days and this is super cold. A twisted tea, raspberry, goddamn. This is the only thing cold. It's twisted iced tea. Get a little rounding because uh, these past three weeks have been kind of rough. So we'll check it out. Hell yeah. Oh, I haven't had a cold drink in three days. Some good stuff. Cheers. Here's uh, some of the trash. We're having a round. I need this, you know. I'm probably not going to be going live streaming or uploading any videos anytime soon but whoever's watching it i know this video is long thank you for watching this uh just my documentation of this whole experience of uh typhoon mawar yeah maybe i'll do a live stream i have some data i'm not sure if it'll work we'll try one looks like their entrance and their roof got fucked up just like the one up there crazy it's like the tiffany and bugari 
and the Burberry sign got blew over. That little guardrail and uh, outrigger blew away. Crazy. The hot diggity dog sign is ripped out, and I guess it's over here. Uh, look at this. This part of Ducet blew out, man. The whole wall is gone. It like blew out, and it's right there on the floor. Looks like uh, this TV here at Zoe got good hits in. Lucky this uh, Mediterranean place, I forgot what it's called. Took down the tarp. Stop lights are kind of discombobulated. Uh, Porky's looks open. Damn, we're passing Sandcastle. Shit's crazy. Ah, look at that shamrock sign go all the way over here at Hyatt this is a Hyatt kind of really like apocalyptic looking here in Tumon but there's light you know so that's a good thing looks like this door in Hyatt blew out oh hey, I'm in Hyatt and big shout outs to Hyatt there's like aircon here it's pretty cold I haven't felt aircon in three days so cool the deli here is open here at the Hyatt uh, there's still tons of people just out and about charging their phones at the plugs and outlets. So yeah, we're gonna check how this place is. Chill a little bit, you do a little lounging. It's cool that uh, there's a cool playground thing here for kids here at the Hyatt. Uh, my son's going crazy, having that. Oh, sorry. Cool uh, playground for Mikhail. Little cool uh, play place. He's just running around. All right, so we just finished charging uh, our phones here at Hyatt. There's aircon here, uh, the Wi-Fi works. I just want to shout out Hyatt Regency Hotel for being the best hotel on Tumont and Guam. Uh, you guys are the best, thank you. Damn, look at all this. We got a high beam. This part of Tumont is like dead. There's no lights. Uh, there's Tumont sands, it's crazy. There is no more sidewalk besides now, but there was like so much trees in the way. This is uh, eggs and things, I think, I forgot what it's called. Oh, cracked egg, as well as uh, Burger King. Uh, this Grand Plaza has lights, but we're gonna head up towards the Kmart, pass over the police station. All right, just after the police station, it looks like, oh, not an guy. A lot of debris here. Uh, this part of Tumon has light. Like right when you pass Fuji and the old subway, Tumon subway. That tree's fucked over in bad time. Wow. Crazy. This tree right here, damn. It's like a one way now. Trees down. Got a dude uh, carrying a sign. Favorite Kona looking good still. It's working hard over there. I saw this one, the, the roof here fell on people's car in this uh, hotel. Damn, look at that debris in the road in front of me. I gotta sort of round it. This is a uh, Bello Road. There is no power here. This is how it looks. People has some people have the LED lights. I'm high beaming right now, but uh, look at that. Look how crazy it is. This is Algeta Street, as well as the right is Algeta Store. That's cool. And I'm going into the darkness. Wild. It's about. Maybe 1.30 or 12, 12.30 in the morning. And that's how dark it is. Besides people that have LED uh, solar panel lights. Uh, we don't have power here on Guam. We got the Guam National Guard out in patrol doing the traffic stops. Some cable people, uh, power work Guam. Power works, doing their thing, good stuff. Yeah, look at all the trees. 
and all the debris, this big tree flew over. Crazy. Kinda high up. All right, it's day four of after or this whole thing. This is like day three after Mayawar, but it's the day four of this event experience. Uh, we're, we're in Hyatt again. Uh, shout out to them. We're charging our stuff, aircon, fan, and Wi-Fi. Uh, let me show you how it looks at the moment. You can cook your own microwave meal here. You can just cook this thing. Jen's eating her noodles. And people are just playing. Uh, it's kind of like a shelter. There's people just chilling, you know? It's like a lot of people. People having their own lunches stuff as well. Yeah. <laughs> so this is our lunch. <laughs> we got the noodle bowl with yeah. Vienna sausage. There's a banana and of course more cup noodles and of course water. Yeah. Uh, this is what we're having for lunch. Cookie, crawfle, and a oh, cookie. It seems that all the other tourists that are in uh, hotels that don't have good con air conditioning and uh, like electricity, they're all coming here. I'll show you how it looks. It looks like a shelter now. People just sitting down on these futons. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, shout out to Hyatt for hosting us and having uh, you know, a place for people to charge their phones and just use Wi-Fi and be sheltered. So we have these green futons that everyone else is sitting on over there. Over here. This is how it looks out here. I don't know how this edit is looking. Uh, maybe it's a continuation or it's just one whole long edit. But thanks for watching guys. Uh, I appreciate it. Now you get to see our experience of how the Super Typhoon Maywar has affected Guam. It's almost been a week. It's a uh, solid three days after and it's a total of four days having this whole thing ordeal together. Not yet a week but we'll see how long this vlog goes. Alright so they look like they turned off the power and the Wi-Fi here is kind of cutting off. I'm noticing a lot of tourists coming here. Maybe the hotel that they were at is not good, so they're coming here and uh, it's getting busy. I'll show you how it looks. And then there's also like uh, the mats on here. Yeah. And yeah, a long line in there. As well as all the people there and more. This is the drive to Tumon. Look at all the debris. It's right there, it's messed up. All the signs here is gone. This one building right here with all the 76 Circle K and all that uh, stuff, their signs are gone. Look at that, all destroyed. Crazy. All right, so the mall opened up today. This is how Micronesia Mall looks like. Quick glimpses of it. Uh, there's a lot of people here. There is no air con. People are charging their phones, lining up, and just trying to get away from the disaster bullshit that we have at home. Just for some relief, you know? <laughs> you know? Brown outlets, wall outlets. Right now, Looks like KFC is busy. As well as Panda Express. everything the mall's running on generator pretty loud 
who are checking in on me and who are concerned about me and my family and the, the homies and friends here in Guam. We are good. Look at the sidewalk, can't even walk. It's only like one way, one path. More clear. This access here is kind of cut off, but we'll do a little trekking through it. The gate here blew out also. We'll take it to the beach. I'm not sure if this thing will get cut off or whatever, but damn. Watch out for the nails. Blew a lot of the rocks and coral over. A lot of debris here. Uh, I gotta be honest with you guys, man. It's gonna take probably more than a month to recover because a lot of this is kind of kind of bad. All right, here's the beach, Tumon Bay Beach. That's a lot of wow, a lot of damages. I love the human spirit, man. After all this stuff that we've gone through, like we're still doing good. Look at that. People are just enjoying the beach. A lot of people out and about enjoying Tumon. A lot of debris and destruction, but not that bad. Guam looks like it'll take a few, maybe a month or so, a few more months before we can go back to where we were. Uh, I'm gonna end this day here. I'll catch you guys on the next one. If there's any other thing after this, you'll see it. I know this vlog is random, but thank you guys for watching. All right, uh, it looks like this is how high it looks. I'm gonna try to head back in, but this tarp here got ripped to shreds. A lot of sand, a lot of debris, cool. Looks like this part of breezes got ripped to shreds. Of Hyatt. A lot of people are hanging their clothes out on the balconies to dry. Even blankets and towels, because I'm pretty sure there's no dryer is gonna work at the moment uh, we're gonna try to head back in but yeah all right we found a, a place that's open we got a VIP house some Chinese food let's get it all right VIP house this is a buffet all you can eat um crab legs at a time like this Okay, gotta spoil myself. Oh, coffee? Shit, let's do it. I love it. Dim sum? All right, day, uh, I don't know. More yard work. Fucking got a lot more in the backyard. We'll see how our day brings. I'm just sitting here. I feel homeless. Probably like make for money. Yeah. Oh, we're here actually charging. Uh.
All right, I got some uh, skate in. I still have no power. Uh, but this is how my roof looks. Pretty windy up here. I'm thinking of pitching up a tent here and going to sleep here. It's a really good idea. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end today's uh, vlog or whatever. And I'll see you tomorrow for day six after and day seven of this Maywar uh, experience. We're almost one weekend, but I'm gonna end the, the whole series there. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. See you. All right, it's uh, day seven of this Maywar experience and maybe six day after Maywar. I'm in the f uh, car charging the phone and this is my morning. Let's start off this day, see what it brings. Flooded like crazy over here. line for about an hour now not that bad almost there I wasted gas just waiting to put gas uh, this gas bullshit is just bullshit uh, fuck you Maywar all right finally made it god damn that line was fucked all right so uh this is a disaster this crisis of here of uh, Super Typhoon Maywar. Uh, gas is like a crazy necessity. I don't know where everyone's going. I just didn't put gas because I didn't think it was going to last this long, but I'm going to full tank my car now. Uh, this is how my day is. Day seven of this, day six after. It looks like their, uh, their car wash got ripped to shreds. And yeah, putting gas, man. Boy got full tank of gas. Blessings. Uh, God damn. Look at the airplane. Alright. Uh, Kmart looks very dim. But we're in Kmart. Guam Kmart. Checking it out. The line here looks crazy already just for Little Caesars Pizza. They have portable butane stoves. And this is the line for uh, Little Caesars. We'll try to get some lunch here. It's pretty dim here. Yes, we're gonna line up for some food. Yeah, finally made it to Little Caesars. I actually used to work here. There isn't any tourists anymore. They all left uh, maybe yesterday because all the airplanes and flights uh, opened up starting yesterday. So right now it's just a lot of locals in Kmart. So a lot of flights opened up as well as uh, tourists left. They went to wherever they're gonna go. And um, what else? Yeah, some gas stations are, uh, 76 gas stations, they don't have gas anymore. So everyone's gassing at Mobile and uh, Shell. Other than that, uh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of cash payments. So that cash to society, not gonna happen. Just cash payment only. Damn, there's the whole gate in Kmart over here. Gave out. As you can see, there's flights leaving Guam now. Yeah, like all the tourists that I know that was like stranded in Tumon, most of them took a flight uh, yesterday and today, and there was like a lot of uh, air traffic going off. Uh, I think I'm gonna end today's whatever documentation of this thing. Uh, and I'm just gonna end this whole uh, video in general. I'll do live streams to keep you guys updated. But in reality, that was my week of Super Typhoon. Maywar and this experience of it, it's pretty not a good experience. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of people still without power, like myself, still also without water, uh, bad internet service, and all that stuff. Uh, right now, uh, I also got called in to work to help out, so tomorrow I'll be working. People are already applying for FEMA, of course the flights are back, and all this other stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to end this, but I'm just gonna end it. 
So thank you guys for watching and coming with me on this journey. Uh, uh, I don't know uh, how it will be. A lot of a lot of the fiestas and events got canceled. So we'll see how you know the rest of the next few months plan out for Guam. I might be doing a live stream tomorrow or soon. So yeah, uh, please stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll make it through this. Uh, we always do. The human spirit is super strong. We went through a lot of shit. It's just Guam has the, you know, since we had the pandemic, our economy's bad, our tourism's bad. And now this, uh, we're gonna be struggling, I feel, but oh, we'll be good. You know, the man up above is not gonna let us down. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace, I'm out.